Stefan from Germany asks that sometimes I see with your left hand you move something behind the capo. Is that to tune or what is that? I think you mean the, uh, this pulling because look, what happens is this. For instance, if I have the guitar more or less tuned here, and now suppose if I put the capo on the fourth fret, uh, because capos move the strings this way or this way slightly. There may be some some tuning things which you need to adjust, or if if suppose you have new strings or something, and if some strings uh, you pull it up, or if it goes down, when you have to pull it up, let me do an example. For instance, suppose here this one, if I pull like this, now I got I got under. It's flat. The second I mean with respect to the sixth. So if I just do this look, I got it closer actually, I, now I just tune it, this is what you mean I think, that I move from here you slide slightly, you don't do it just like this and now if you do too hard, this will happen and this is wrong. So therefore you have to know how, but this is because it's pressing and uh, those are tricks which you use when you are playing live. You have to adjust things. Suppose if this is string, I will put it low, like this. It's a bit flat now because it should be. So I will put this slightly just to show you what it is. This, how it actually alters the tune. This trick here. So I play this. Now in fact it's almost okay. So I just need a little bit up, and now I'm good. So then, of course, now if I do play very uh, uh, hard or loud stuff, something like this, and then the string goes down, then I, I need to pull it up. Sometimes it's better option to just move this than to go with the machine head or with the peg up. Because if I, suppose if I raise here this, look, because it's pressing, here you see just a small difference, but if I take this up, look, I, I'm one tone up. So, yeah, you are smart, you find out just what it is. This I learned from Paco, this. And before, now, thanks to God, it exists this, the only uh, cheap stuff for for guitars, which is, is good. <laughs> All things are pretty expensive, anyway. This thing, five dollars, and it's great. And it replaced forever the, the traditional capo before. It was even worse because these other capos, the way they press is just not good. Paco said this is the best one because it, it, it doesn't have much, uh, nothing here bothering. It allows you to do chords like this, which the other was just a nightmare. You have to switch the finger, change fingers to get there. And it doesn't scratch the guitar here. Although, careful with the video, with the thing that. If this is this model, that's the best. There are others who are uh, have some device here, which sometimes scratches this part of the fret. Well, anyway, this is the answer to your question about this stuff. Because to accommodate things with the capo on, the worst alternative is to move the the here in the, in the headstock, the machine head or the pegs if you have. It's better to try to to adjust this with slight movements of the strings to, to match temper, it, it has to be tempered. Y el loco que descubrí ahí el, la improvisación. La improvisación es algo que yo pienso que cada músico debería, cada músico del estilo que sea, del clásico, del flamenco, de cualquier otra música debería, debería aprender porque la improvisación te da mucha libertad y a la vez te da mucho conocimiento de 
de dónde estás tocando y cómo estás tocando, de qué armonía estás en cada momento. ¿no? Muy bien, Pablo. Paco, ¿qué es para usted la música popular y qué es la música elitista? Yo creo que la música elitista es el refinamiento de la música popular. Por ejemplo, el flamenco. El flamenco originalmente es una música popular, la música del pueblo andalucí. Pero creo que ya no le pertenece más al pueblo, porque de pronto habemos gente que nos hemos pasado toda una vida encerrado puliendo esa expresión popular. Entonces ha llegado a un nivel en el que el, que el pueblo ya no, no, no tiene acceso, sobre todo a los matices que vamos consiguiendo la gente como yo, que nos pasamos muchas horas elaborando esa música.